Hey, Capricorn. Oh, this is, here we go. Sorry about that. We are out of focus. Capricorn, it's Jack and Colin, and this is your general reading. This is for the week of January 30th, uh, 2023. So we leave the month of January and enter into February. Now, remember, these are general readings. So take with you what resonates and leave behind what does not uh, for someone else. Okay, if you're seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTelman.com. We are recording live today on YouTube. So if you're on that uh, platform, you can scroll below the video to pick up the chat room. Okay. Hey, Susie and Juliet, how are y'all? All righty. So Capricorn, uh, energy that may or may not resonate with you. We have a Pisces as well as a Cancer energy. There's some intensity in the love life this week for you guys. You may be reuniting with someone from the past. Uh, expect sudden changes that lead to something better. Okay. Get the rest that you need before moving further. So that generally indicates the calm before the storm. There's been a lesson well learned and no overthinking. When you overthink things, you just kind of you take your energy down when you do that. So no overthinking and no ever analyzing. So let's see what we have. All right, Capricorn, your first card up. You've got the King of Pentacles coming in with financial independence. Also wanting to let you know that a Gemini may or may not resonate here. Okay. And with that, we have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. Temperance says that you have recognized and embraced that when you do the same thing, you get the same result. So therefore, you are changing things up and in return you're getting a better result going back to what i said there are sudden changes and then everything flows naturally keeping the vibration high that's right also have the hermit the hermit says you may have some scattered energy and you may not feel it but you're actually on the right path meaning you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for the time being and that's a huge message there it really is okay so Oh, wow. Let's grab those. Moving forward. Wow. Capricorn. I think we had you and Taurus. Both are signs. Two are signs. Two of the three. Jumping cards. All right. You actually have two. Ten of Cups. And the King of Wands. Big moves going on here, particularly in matters of the heart. Now, the Ten of Cups generally indicates a relationship, okay? Uh, not only is this a relationship, but this is something of the long term. Now, if you're in a relationship, you could be leveling up, okay? And I say that because right beside it, we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands shows movement on the home front. Someone moving in the home, someone moving out the home. The movement on the home front, if there's absolutely no movement, it just could be someone coming in for an extended stay or it could indicate a renovation. But with that Ten of Cups, it could mean two people merging households, okay? So... Wow, moving forward. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, kind of like the hermit where I'm saying you might not feel, but you're on the right path. Ten of Wands says you're overcoming your obstacles, okay? You're actually gathered them up, push them to the side, creating a new path and a better path. And according to the hermit, you're creating the right path. But we've got two tens here together. Okay, and the two tens here together indicate a powerful new beginning, which is just as strong as having that death card energy here. A lot going on, a lot of energy going on here. Yeah, Juliet, moving forward. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups says there is someone or something, person or a situation that no longer serves a purpose. You are wrapping that up and you are walking away from that energy. And we have the Ace of Cups. There is a new beginning in love for you guys with the Knight of Swords. Something is coming rushing in. This whole week is going to go rushing by very quickly. Very, very quickly is what I'm seeing here. Okay. And rushing by what is rushing in is the Page of Cups. Unexpected offer of love. Now, I really want to throw out the unexpected. 
Okay. Now, let's get going with this. I haven't seen energy like this on Capricorn in a while. It's really high. High vibes. High vibes on this one. Okay, so we've got the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands says to avoid conflict and drama within family or on the home front. Okay. And we have temperance. Exactly. On temperance, you've got the three of pentacles. You're doing something with your money. You're looking at investments, savings. You're doing something differently there. Um, I don't know. You're starting a side business or doing something, investing in something. I don't know. But you're doing something to make your money grow. On the hermit. Oh, wow. The world. So not only are you on the right path, you got the world as your oyster. Things are going your way. Finally, right? Okay. On the Ten of Cups, we have the Three of Wands. You got a patience problem brewing. <laughs> You're losing your patience. You're getting antsy. There's something here. Um, this could be, since it's coming on a relationship card, maybe you're wanting to take things slow and you're just losing patience in doing so, okay? You're revamping your goals, too. Revamping your goals. Knight of Wands comes with the Queen of Pentacles. Financial stability, good financial decisions. An Aquarius, I think I mentioned in the beginning of the video, maybe. Aquarius may resonate here we also have the four wands okay so i'll tell anybody if you're looking for a relationship you're looking for the ten of cups of the four of wands you got them both so happy times ahead we will um i will take this to the extended because there's just so much going on here and on that eight of cups comes the chariot now, the chariot's going to trump your reading, okay? This says you get everything you want and desire, uh, but it's going to come rushing in. It's not only going to come rushing in, it comes totally unexpected. Like, everything turns around when you least expect it. Hey, Steph! So, and then we have on that Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups comes with... The Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Total Happiness and Total Contentment. And what I want to say is allowing allowing yourself to be happy comes into play here. All right, what's coming with that Knight of Swords or what else is rushing in here? Justice. This could be the signing of a legal document. This could be a large lease and or a purchase. Um, anything like that is something that's going to restore your balance, something you're feeling very positive about. Okay. Signing, like I said, I'm getting the signing of a legal document more so than anything else. Alrighty. Let's give you a bonus card. Hierophant. You guys have the manifestation energy going on. Okay. Manifestation, keeping your thoughts and energy positive as you draw into you what you want to see happen. Remember, you can manifest and draw into you the negative just as well as you can the positive. So keep the high vibrations. All right. This is what I have for Capricorn. Very high vibration, very high energy, an interesting week ahead. Uh, if we depart here, that is fine. You guys have a great week. It's JackieTomlin.com for personal readings. And if you won't care to join me on the extended, the link will be below in the description box, or you may visit YouTube's homepage, my home channel and find the join button and join me there. Otherwise, if you're following me around, I'll be back here in about 10 minutes. And next up is Aquarius. Aquas, you are next. See you in a bit. Bye.